Peggy 18. Since launch, we've improved Helldivers quite significantly together with you, the community. We've released a lot of content, such as the flyers, the TCS missions, the destruction of an entire planet. This time around, we've got something special prepared for you. It's our first step out of many, where we're gonna expand the game in big, meaningful ways. New game modes, new objectives, new enemies, and even a whole new difficulty. To give you that, we have to escalate it. An escalation of freedom. When freedom escalates, its opponents escalate. We're bringing back a fan favorite from Helldivers 1. The stabby, tentacled beast known as the Impaler. When you're playing against the Terminids, you can always try and run away. The Impaler ruins that plan. They will maybe cut off your escape route, and then you will probably have to stay and fight. Or you can fight the tentacles. The Spore Charger. This one has fog traveling around it. It's constantly moving, so it's going to come right out of the fog and scare the lights out of you. The automatons are bringing in artillery. A big tank that shoots rockets. If you're further away, you can see it aimed towards the skies and fire rockets in the air, so you'll have a barrage coming down on you. In addition, you'll face off against heavier, more deadly brood commanders. With a small twist, the allies that it spawn will not be the ones that you're used to. Difficulty 10 has more enemies than we've had before on lower difficulties. We've really ramped it up. It's meant to feel like a real progression from 9 to 10. We're also introducing a larger type of outpost, and it's going to be a real challenge to take on these massive fortresses. But if you manage to do so, there will be great rewards waiting for you. Of course, what would the galaxy be without planets? Therefore, we wanted to spook it up with a new version of the swamp environment. The acid storm weather effect now comes with a new mechanic. It reduces the armor of enemies and hell divers alike. You'll do a lot more damage, but you'll also take more in return, which is just as horrifying as it sounds. In Escalation of Freedom, we have new objectives come in, like the Retrieve Larva mission, where you find this backpack with a uh, little crying larva that you need to reach the extraction with. But you also have to be careful because it's gonna be crying a lot and you're getting swarmed by more and more terminates. With the second galactic war in full swing, Super Earth is currently battling the automatons and the bugs for control of the Milky Way. The Automaton Legion, they are constantly building bigger and worse war machines. The Terminids uh, migration patterns seem to be changing. There's also been some irregular readings of the Terminids' spores in the various sectors where the Terminids are spreading. And we will see where the story develops from here. So, have we told you everything that's gonna be in the Escalation of Freedom? Of course we haven't. We have many more surprises in store for you. A surprise here and there that you maybe didn't expect. On August 6th, I'm ready to dive, and I hope you are too.